So Marcus, there is a lot of talk going on right now that I am like twice as good as you, but I, I don't think that's true personally, because I know you're a really good player, but you know, what's the season going to look like, you know, having your little brother being like twice as good as you, stronger and faster? What does that, what does that seem like to you? Well, for me, it all comes down to who taught him everything he knows. Okay. I mean, and that just says something about me as a teacher and about me as a player. I mean, okay. elevating you to where you are just shows how good I am. So, I mean, it's not that big a deal to me. Right, right. Well, I think dad got the strength, mom got the hops, and I think it's a, it's a pretty even divide, you know, wouldn't you say? Yeah, but I got definitely all the looks. All the looks. I'm married. I have a kid. You're single. Single. Looking, you know. Ugly. Yeah. All of the, all of the above. So, what do you expect out of me this year, personally? Um, I expect you to do, you know, everything that I've taught you to do. I expect you to be the little brother you've always been, you know, follow my footsteps, just try to copy everything I do. So, one less catch, one less touchdown, one less yard, a little bit less than you, is that what you're saying? That's a good goal for you. Okay. Be a good goal. Well, thank that's That's all I have. I mean, that's, that's all I all we need to know, so thank you. So Mitch, there's a lot of pressure on you riding this season. I mean, rumor has it that there was a baby born last month that was named after you. Well, there, yeah, there was. There was at least one. There was at least one. There was Mitchell, Mitch, Swizz, my nickname. There was Lil Ten. So there's, there's, there's everything, you know. And I, you know, there's not no pressure, because um, I mean, everyone knows that I'm just gonna perform, so. That's the thing, there's no pressure. I mean, I, I continue to hear stories about babies born, and, and there's gonna be more to come, so no pressure. Of course. Now, at the dunk contest, can we expect a similar performance uh, on the goalpost this year, or what are we talking? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, I, uh, I have enough trust in our kickers that no matter how far we go back from for PATs, field goals, I'm just going to get all the flags, windmills on the goalpost. You know, I've never missed a dunk yet, even in high school, so I'm going to continue that. Maybe put one between the legs, go over the goalpost, and just trust our kickers. Do you want to jump over me again, maybe for the, for the for like a game-winning touchdown? Yeah, a, little, a little leapfrog, you alley it, leapfrog, catch it, and then I'll just I'll bang it home. Then point at mom and dad somewhere. Obviously. Obviously. You want to, yeah, you want to, so just do it like we did. So are you sitting there, I'll jump over, you got to loft me the, you know, so loft the ball, so face the goal. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So goal like, pose right here. here. So, you know, lob, so long when I come up, long when I come up, you lob it, I'm going to catch it. Ready? Ready? Yep. That's how it's done, folks. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Thank we'll you. Get him for sure.